Oh, great. I guess we could start, huh? Three, two, three, two, one. Wow. With one little click of the finger, a worldwide broadcast begins. I'm going to make the final adjustments here before we are officially officially rolling. Well, wow, we're just in time, Mary. Oh, that's right. Frederick's in France. That rhymes. Look at this. The gang's all here. The gang's all here. Wow. The girls look great tonight, everybody. It's good. It's good being a lounge cadet. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for another exciting Friday night of Lounge Academy. My name is Howard, and uh, looks like. Let me make sure this camera. This camera is ideally positioned. I think that's better. The, uh, the rear camera was blocking, blocking Mary. She's she's a little bit eclipsed. I'm trying to use that word as much as possible, eclipsed. See, that's Mary. Can you pull your chair up a little? Maybe I should move the camera. We want you, the viewing public, and the lounge cadets to have the best possible view of of your fellow lounge cadets. And I think uh, I think we've achieved that by adjusting that that camera there. So I'm just going to bring in, I'm bringing up uh, the live stream on my own phone, and then I could I could watch the show too. Here we go. No, I don't want to tell a story. See why I've been here. I've got my purse there too. I want my hot Okay, we are cooking. So I picked up this bag. The first historic notes. Episode 1012 is on its way here at Lounge Academy. Here comes my guy right there. It's great being back in my cubicle here. I never feel quite right if I'm not sitting right here where I am right now.
How's the sound out there in Lounge Cadet Land? Can you hear me okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Lounge Academy, Ryan Lysars, coming in with his color-coordinated cocktail and suit. My sidekick, Nick Otto's here. He's gonna be right back joining the show. Just a few minutes. In just a few minutes time. new Ryan turn your microphone up how was your week Mr. President Mary was just asking me about my seven churches seven seven churches adventure wow I thought you looked holy what happens if you go to more than seven then you get extra echelons in heaven I was wondering if maybe seven. Get a baby out of purgatory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You were, yeah, you were baptized by Pope. You get a free bingo card. That was amazing. Yeah. 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 So quickly, I was tempted to go to one or two more, but then I thought maybe seven has special significance. I mean, if I go to both. Don't mess with perfection. Right. Uh, well, that was. Uh, started at St. Anne. Well, Ryan had an exciting week to it. Everybody looks wonderful tonight. The lounge cadets never, never disappoint. Hotel is uh, is very calm tonight, compared, especially compared to last week. Last week we had 500 dancers on top of everything else. They were great though. We got some high kicks out of them. There goes Big Steve. That's the big guy right there. gentlemen some dignitaries are coming in Ooh, yeah, yeah. look who's here you could use the uh, use the coat chair yeah we're getting we're getting very organized here Looking wonderful. Well, thank you. Nice to see you, Dave. Looking dapper tonight. I like that pink. Beautiful cufflinks. He's got a real watch on that's not a smart watch, it's a real watch. A hat, a little pin on his lapel. He's the real, he's the full package. Stylish glasses. Commando too. I was gonna ask. The women are going crazy over that line. It's better than wearing the underpants on the outside of your suit. <laughs> That's a good way to get, you know, a little time off. 
figure, you know, yeah, I think we need a few days to relax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tonight, next week's going to be a really big shoe. We're going to be entertaining the whole world with the advantage of having Nick Otto with us right here in the studio. That's going to be a lot of fun, Nick. It's a very, it's a very um, quiet evening here. Not that nothing is going on. That's there's plenty going on. It just doesn't involve uh, energetic dancers and hockey teams. Welcoming tonight the Afghan Support Center. I met some really nice people. Cheryl Walsh says hi. I don't think I'm going to be able to. You typically at this stage of the game, Cheryl. Even if I had a CB set on Channel 19, I would not be able to get Mary's attention. You know why? Because we're married. Married people tune, them, tune each other out. Just, it's just a uh, biological adaptation, apparently. I, I wonder if other species do that. Like if you had a, a pair of dogs, you know, a mated pair of dogs. And one of them barked and the other one wouldn't hear it. Because most, most things, most things, yeah, Nick, that's, that's what I, that's what I discovered. At least, at least, you know, everybody's different, but um, the assemblage that happens to be here, of course, you know, the Hyatt, we always get great people at the Hyatt. This is a fancy place. I don't know how I got in. I made this up for David Barone in case he's out there. the Barone Etude. It's also called Milking It. We like to see how long we could go when we started the show before we actually played a real song. And Nick Otto keeps track for me. He's the, he's the, he's the timer. Time tracker. Timekeeper. She's she's seeing the other man this week. Gary. Yeah. Her second favorite singer, entertainer. I understand, I, I share her. Gary's a good guy. Quattroni? Dave, Dave knows who he is, as Dave gets around. 
she she was wondering where Barbara was tonight, and he's, she's with the other man one, once a month. That's our, our deal. Once a month, she gets to be with her other guy, Gary Catroni. Yeah, yeah. She has another lover. Yeah, another Jewish guy, Gary Catroni. He's got quite an act. I, I, I went and saw him at the Curtis one, once after the Statler. What a group he's got. What a. He's got a lot of cousins, I can tell you that. Barbara's not here. It's very. I know. We miss her. Yeah, for sure. I like the songs you pick out. She has parents. Uh, mine too. How long have been gone? Long time. My my dad since since uh, eighty four, and um, my mom since two thousand. My dad was my age. I'm his age, so I got to get past this year for good luck. <laughs> I like to think so. But but you know what? We made it to the top of the mountain. We're here at the Hyatt. So, you know. My most important bucket list items are here. Right, Nick? Only 15 minutes. It's 5.25 now. We did start on time. So. I wonder if Gary Marino is going to come down tonight. Wouldn't that be great? I can't think of anything better. If he can turn himself away from the tomatoes. He has a lot of responsibilities with those. When you have 100,000 tomatoes, that's a lot of responsibility. A lot of fires to put out. That's, that might not be an exaggeration. Hope he has time to make his ginger beer this year. Hope the tomatoes don't monopolize his productivity. Good evening, Brian Blatz. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Blatz is honoring us with his presence directly from the green room before going on stage at Dijon's Steak and Lobster House in Melbourne Beach, Florida, where he's going to do this. He's going to dazzle people with his piano and singing as they eat and drink expensive stuff, lobsters and steak. Pencils are okay. There's not much liquid in a pencil, especially the older you get. Oh yeah, yeah. Some, I had some new thing I was going to do with my phone. Capture the the people beautifully. Oh, 
Oh, great. Uh, looks like it will. We've got some requests lined up here from our favorite request giver, Andrea. Or if you're from Buffalo, it's Andrea. Right? What, what is what is the official pronunciation for, for in your Andrea, the Buffalo, like Oscar Levan? See, people say Oscar Levant, but then I was corrected because they said he was a New York City boy. They say Levant, even though he transplanted himself to to the West Coast where they had better mental hospitals. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Morris, Pianosaurus, checking in. Wonderful entertainer. Great to see you, Lee. Boy, I learned my lesson last week, Lee. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check those uh, cameras regularly. And my messages. I, I was so distracted, I couldn't look at the messages last week. I think it was those 500 dancers. John Tedesco might be out there, my favorite. My favorite guy. John, are you out there? Maybe he'll say hi. John Tedesco. He might come down here one of these times. minutes of not playing a song. It's pretty good. I think that it fulfills my obligation. What do you think, Nick Otto? <laughs> Looks like we're all here. We can start a song. One of it. One of Andrea's requests. Uh, I bet nobody knows the verse to this. They blush and speak of honey moonlight. Cheer on a 
kind of we're together weather wise it's such a lovely day say the words we'll beat the birds attack Acapulco Bay it's perfect for flying honeymoon they say oh come fly with me great way to start the night. We started by flying away. Here's another, uh, I think that theme so far in these songs she picked, they're, they're Sinatra tunes. I know Bob Maggio will be happy about that. The great singer, he might be out there. I kind of think he is, I've got a way of cheating. In fact, speaking of that, I want to see if I've got this new gimmick. Let, hang on just a second, kitties. While I... Is it, is it what this is? I want to try a new gadget. Oops. I accidentally left my live. There we go. Watch the world. Jesus thing is. Is this it? Watch the live video. There we are. Bob Maggio is going to join us for about 20 minutes before getting to one of his show business engagements. Where are you going to be tonight, Bob? John Tedesco says hi. Everybody says hi back, John. Well, Andrea did anyway. The others are heavily in involved in conversation. Jen Apple Serpa. How great to see Jen. Well, I'm glad you I'm glad we're with you, Jen. It's wonderful to see you. It's been a long time. song to Jen that Andrea picked out. It's about the it's about the life we all had back at our mansion on Delaware Avenue and when Jen Apple was there and Ann and George GT and all the rest of us. Oh Bob Maggio is gonna be attending a private party and the only way you could see it is to crash it. Sounds like fun, Bob. Maybe you could maybe you could uh, live stream a couple minutes of it for us. I'd love to watch it later. Here we go to the good life we had on Delaware Avenue. It was almost as good as the good life we got here at the Hyatt. Yeah. There you go. It was good. It was good. It was good. But it keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. You think it's going to keep getting better? Could you think we could? You think we could top this for Lounge Academy? Well, I'm sure they will be. I'm sure they'll make their way down here, Dave. The 
This way I could use up all my jokes first. Which could which could be a problem. Oh the good life. Full of fun seems to be the ideal. Yes, the good life lets you hide all the sadness you feel. You don't really fall in love. You won't take the chance. So be honest. With yourself, don't try and fake romance. Ooh, the good life to be free and explore the unknown. Like the heartache, when you learn you must face them. Please remember, I still love you, and in case you, you wonder why, well just wake up, kiss a good life, good. Another great request. That was by, thank you. That was Sasha, Sasha, Sasha Distel, Jack Reardon, and Jean Brossol. They, they could, they could have put a roof on in the time it took to write a song with a group that big, right? I always think of it in terms of manpower. You know, I, I think of that when I see a band. Maybe I'm yeah, just having a little tood, as they say, attitude because I do a solo act, but when I go into a place and I see like seven guys on the stage, I'm thinking, they could have my roof done in a day with a tear off, right? When you think of the manpower that goes into that, that goes into creating the music for people to drink to. I think we have another cartoon. I think we do. I do, I'm not trying to be funny, that's really what I think about. No, Ed Williams, what that gentleman is doing, that gentleman, that's no gentleman, that's Dave Corbett. He happens to be Buffalo's cartoonist. And he, he's, he's impromptu creating cartoons for the moment on recipe cards. Because he doesn't cook. Looks like he's writing checks. He does write a lot of checks. He's a very successful man. Right, Andrea? She knows. She's seen him operate. I'm not, not surprised to hear that. He collects Rolls Royces. He collects Rolls Royce owners. Some guys only collect the cars. He collects the owners. <laughs> Well, those, those appreciate more. They're a better investment than the big ones. <laughs> That's right, easy for me to say. Here's one by Michelle Legrand. If it takes forever, I will wait for you for a thousand summers. I will wait for you till I'm back beside you, till I'm holding you, till I hear you sigh here in my arms. 
this we this is yeah we don't do this one very often do we i love michelle legrand anywhere you wander anywhere you go every day remember how i love you so in my heart be we've watched in my heart i know that forevermore i will wait for you the clock will tick away the hours one by one then will come the time when all the waiting's done the time when you return and find me here and run straight to my waiting arms see you got to really milk the word arms good old show business tip that and moon if it takes for ever i will wait for you in the summers I will wait for you till I'm here beside you till you're touching me and forevermore sharing your love that was a great request by Michelle Legrand thank you he was French you know these are these are dedicated to our lounge cadets who are currently visiting France or marrying somebody in France or both one of my favorite in fact my favorite drummer might be out there his name is John Brady he's also a very funny man we, we were in, in bands together. He might not admit to that, but I, I, I'm happy to admit to that. Those were the good old days, John Brady. Down in Fritzy's basement. That was like when the Beatles were in the cave. Remember the time we played uh, McVans? I remember playing McVans with John Brady. I made, fi I made five bucks. Not bad. All I remember is blackness. Everything was black in the place. And some spotlights. And the river dangerously close. As people were driving bodies off the pier. And then the uh, showboat was right next door with John Valby playing. What a scene we had back then at the foot of Hurdle. Andrea has picked out a beautiful Gershwin tune. me but you had such persistence you broke down my resistance I fell and it was swell you're my big and brave and handsome Romeo how I won you I shall never never know It's not that you're persistent. It's not that you're attractive, but oh, my heart grew active when you came into view. Okay, we've milked that intro enough. This one is for Buffalo Stone. 
they got the big quarry out there. I've got a crush on you. Sweetie pie, all the day and night time. Hear me sigh. I never had the least bit notion that I could fall with so much emotion. Could you cool? Could you care for a cunning cottage? We could share. The world would part in my mush. Cause I've got a crush, my baby and you. just shared a cunning cottage. The world right past the lunch mush. On a kind of, I've got a crush. My baby on you. Oh yeah, I've got a crush. Crush on you, crush on you, ooh yeah, you. Let's go to Pebble Beach together. That was from Strike Up the Band, the Gershwins. We got a string of wonderful requests here. Thank you, Andrea, David. That was from their joint account. Cash in the Bitcoin. That guy with the haircut. The guy with the haircut. Oh, oh, that, oh, yeah, I know who you mean. Oh, gee. They claim everybody's going to be made whole. They're going to be in the hole. Yeah, that's right. Sam, Sam Bankman Freed or something. Yeah, that's sad. And that's, it's also very bizarre. It, it's such a bizarre story that something like that could even happen. And that's that built. People gave them billions of dollars and there was no oversight. And they were all these weird, like, nothing wrong with being a weird hippie. You know, we've all done that. But they were really odd. What a blast they must have had, though. I mean, after a caper like that, he'll never have to pay for another beer as long as he lives. If he ever gets out. It's such an interesting story. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I guess time will tell. I'm waiting for it. I'm all for it. I'm just waiting for Bitcoin to, to be money. You know, it's like I, I use money to, to, to transact. You know, I mean, we all know not to keep cash because it depreciates, right? Yeah, well, no, but no, we keep it for convenience. But I mean, we don't, we don't keep like hundreds of thousands of dollars just sitting because it loses it loses value. So when we could use Bitcoin for that, you know, I'll I'll buy it and I'll and I'll transact with it. But, but how many how many people buy U.S. currency because they're speculating in the value of it? It's gonna. I mean, some people do, of course. But but the average you know the average person doesn't do that. What is that called? Forex. Is that called forex when you when you when you trade currency? I 
What money? The cryptos? Yeah. I think it, I've always thought it would. Be, you know, I'm in the camp where I don't rule out it's a Trojan horse theory, where it's actually the Federal Reserve or whoever it is behind the whole thing to trick us into getting into uh, digital, where we think we're doing it to evade it, and then they go, ha ha. It just seems weird that whole Satoshi story about this some some brilliant Asian guy just like thought up the whole thing and got everybody to go along with it and and that so what was the guy's name? Was the big Satoshi and then and then they can never prove then they can never prove the guy ever existed I mean it just sounds so CIA to me right like it's a big psych out a, a big psych operation psyop why I stick to things that are easy to understand, like saying dumb things while playing the piano. I think you're right, Brian Blatz. I think your act is rubbing off on us over here. Hi, Tom Campo. Campo? It is a beautiful atrium. Well, thank you, Tom. Appreciate being with you this evening, all of us together. Brian is now on stage at Dijon's in Melbourne Beach, Florida. Okay, we got another request. After that roundtable discussion on cryptocurrency. Well, this is wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the entire show business family of the, the Myers. The Myers sisters are with us, along with Robert, their handler and manager. That means Sherry's with us. Susan and Sandra. The whole kitten caboodle means we're going to be getting some great requests continuing through the evening. Why do I do just as you say? Why must I just give you your way? Why do I sigh? Why don't I try to forget? Why must I have been that something lovers call fate? Kept on saying I had to wait. I saw them all. Just couldn't fall till we met. Ethereal intro there. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around, finally found somebody who could make me be true, make me be blue. And even be glad just to be sad thinking of you. Some others I've seen might never be me, might never be cross, try to be boss, but they wouldn't do. But nobody else gave me that thrill. With all your faults, I love you, swill. Had to be you, wonderful you. It had to be you.
mothers I've seen might never be mean, might never be cross, they wouldn't be boss, they wouldn't do. Isham Jones Gus Khan song from 1924. That's all right. There's plenty more where that came from, right? Well, you're, you're like six for six. I, I, I've been I've been able to uh, you know attempt all of these. <laughs> watching Lounge Academy, and, I, and I'm watching the cameras tonight to make sure they don't screw up and that I don't notice. Last week I had one camera misbehaving for an hour, even though everybody was yelling at me saying, check your camera, check your camera. So I, I pledged to check my camera. Check your gauges as you're flying. I have not. I have not seen Brenda. I have not ca captured her sneaking in yet. The Myers sisters, replete with brother-in-law. Sisters.com if you'd like more information on, on their act. They're like the Carling family. You ever see the Carling family from Swiss Switzerland? Boy, are they great. Almost as good as the Meyer sisters. You really can't even say that though, because when, when you're in that league, you know, there's no such thing as somebody being better than the other. I think I'm just a little prejudiced. We got another Michelle Legrand song queued up here in the requests. summer of 42, back when it was perfectly okay to date your teacher at school. In fact, in fact, the guy in, uh, who played the, at least the character in this movie, probably never have to pay for another beer either. Blowing off a stunt like that. What a summer. Reminds me of when I fell in love with my driver ed instructor. She couldn't get me out of the back seat and didn't know why. The summer smooth. The restless sky and lovingly she warms the sand on which you lie. What a song. The summer knows the summer's wise 
She sees the doubts in your eyes And so she takes her summertime Tells the moon to wait And the sun to linger summer finger lets you see the wonder of it all. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, on their way to adventure. <laughs> They're on their way to their fish fry. I can tell by the walk. <laughs> And if you've heard, if you've learned your lesson well, there's a little more for her to tell. One last caress, it's time to dress for fall. That was a great group of requests. I could always call Aunt Andrea. I'd, I'd, I'd love it. I'd be delighted if you did. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra says it's great to be with the Lounge Cadets here at Lounge Academy. And the heart of downtown Buffalo, New York. Andrea, can you do me a favor and see if uh, my one and only love is in there under M? Is this a trick question? Sadly, I neglected to put that in my uh, electronic gizmo. It's a great song, and she put it in, Sandra put it in my ear. You know how that goes. You've got to do it. When, when it gets in your ear. Here it is. I found it. Sorry to interrupt your song seeking. I didn't want to throw off your timing. The 
very thought of you makes my heart sing like the April breeze on the wings of spring and you appear with all your splendor my one and only love the shadows fall and spread their mystic charms in the hush nights while you're in my arms I feel your lips so warm and tender my one and only love the touch touch of your hand is like heaven Heaven that I've never known The blush of your cheek Whenever you speak Tells me that you are my own You fill my eager heart With such desire Every kiss you give sets my soul on fire. I give myself in sweet surrender. I gave that a little of myself into that song. The highest note on the piano, Dave. I played every note on the piano. What is the highest note called? It's called a C. It's a C like eight or something. It's got a, it's got a number. If you did that one and middle C at the same time, would they be the same? Well, they'd be the same note. It's a little. You're right, it's, it's not quite in tune. Here's a song we've never done, Sandra and Susan. It happens to be on the next page. This will be my shining hour calm and happy and bright dreams you face will flower like the light over me this will be my shining hour until I'm with the Meyer sisters again that's a Johnny Mercer Harold Arlen song so that's that song's no joke Right. I'm like a Dalmatian chasing tennis balls. <laughs> I'll just keep getting them and bringing them back as long as you throw it. You ever see a Dalmatian playing with a tennis ball? They are, they are energetic dogs.
They have big spots on them, too. And remind you of the fire department. Remember fire departments used to be known for Dalmatians? I've seen 101 of them. I've never seen one by itself. It's, they seem like 101 when there's just one. Thank you, Sandra. That was a wonderful request. I'm glad we, we were able to fulfill that for you. I think you requested a last week, and I think I might have stiffed out on it. Maybe not. I could be just consumed by guilt for no reason. I keep a ledger in the back of my mind about song requests and song request fulfillments. It's like a T-account structure. Remember those T-accounts? See, I try, to, I try to throw in references to arcane industries. Arcane references to industries would be more accurately to Sandra had a Dalmatian, how wonderful. They're really sweet animals. And they're really energetic for what, like six years? They're kind of like an alkaline battery. They go full out for like six years. Then all of a sudden they, they chill a little bit. Which is also nice. good unless which gender should we represent for the song which is more effective for this song non-binary I think we'll do it we'll do it from the female perspective for Andrea a better chance of getting her emotionally involved. Besides, we've got we've got a most we have a mostly female um, cadet crew because the guys are all intimidated by these beautiful women, and they don't they don't have a, a shirt and tie like David. See, he's smart. Guys tell me, I retired and I haven't had a tie since I retired. Yeah, you, well, you probably haven't met one of these dynamite women either since you retired. Put on a shirt. Yeah, I mean, pants would be good. Well, we... we Camera, I got it aimed where it doesn't pick up the pants. Just in case. Like the show on Streaking last week. When somebody loves you, it's no good unless he loves you. All the way. Happy to be near. someone to cheer you all the way taller than the tallest tree is that's how it's got to feel
that's how deep it goes if it's real when somebody needs you it's no good unless he needs you between years come what may who knows where the road will lead us only a fool would say if you let me love you it's for sure I'm gonna love you Hughes and Sammy Khan get the credit for that one from the Joker as Wild. Here's one that everybody knows. Thank you. This day and age we're living in gives cause for apprehension. Speed a new invention. Things like third dimension. They say you can hear it well in the ladies' room. Grow a trifle weary with Mr. Einstein's theory. You must get down to earth at times. Relax, relieve the tension. No matter what the progress, what may it be proved, the simple facts of life are such they cannot be removed. Good to have you back, Nick. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say I love you and that you can rely No matter what the future brings as time goes by Moonlight Love song never out of day Heart full of passion, jealousy and hate. Woman needs man, and man must have his mates. No man can deny. And still the same old story, a fight for love and glory, a case of do or die. As time, as time goes by, 
Could you hear it in the ladies' room? I did. You could? Isn't that weird? How come? How could you hear it way over there? As long as you don't flush, you can hear it. You waited till we were at a pause. Well, thank you, everybody. That's uh, Herman Hupfeldt, one of his great hits. Genius. I'm going to, uh, here's a Harry Warren and Al Dubin song from Dames, selected by Andrea. She knows the songs. My love must be a kind of blind love I can't see anyone but you And dear, I wonder if you find love An optional to collusion too Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright As I I can't see a thing in the sky Cause I only have eyes for you I don't know if we're in a garden Or on a crowded avenue go by, but they all disappear from view. That was for Dodo Green. <laughs> was that one of her lines? I don't know. The name of the piano, do you know why the piano is called the piano? Yeah, the piano forte for loud and soft. They, they do, Nick. I always sing when I'm in there. Because people lock me in there when I'm singing. They push, they shove me in there and lock the door.
exactly at the equinox of Lounge Academy, halfway through the second period. Oh, I'm going to start drinking coffee. I like to time my drugs. I learned to do that at Woodstock. Each time I look at you, it's like the first time. Each time you're near me, the thrill is new. And there is nothing that I wouldn't do for the rare delight of the sight of you. The more I see you, the more I want you. Somehow this feeling just grows and grows with every sign. I become more mad about you, more lost without you, and so it goes. Can you imagine how much I love you? go by I know the only one for me can only be you my eyes are free you my heart won't try from Diamond Horseshoe, Harry Warren, Matt Gordon, 1945. Selena says hi to, welcomes on behalf of Windsor, Canada, officially, she's a, she's a city official, director of culture, which is why she's hip to Lounge Academy and why we're hip to Selena. She digs us and we dig her. On behalf of all the taxpayers and fee payers, value added payers of Windsor, to all the taxpayers, property taxpayer, user fee, tote fees, sewer fee, payers of Buffalo water fees, recycling fee. She wishes us all peaceful coexistence. Shall we never have another burning of Buffalo or invasion of Squaw Island? 
Wasn't there some kind of uh, military action on one of the islands? Was it Squaw Island? Right. Well, I'm, well, we're talking. We're talking history, though. You can't go back and change the name when you're talking in past participles. Now you have to call it Squaw Casino. We're all about ethnic jokes, good, good ones, oh, politically correct ethnic jokes. It's something new we've invented here at Lounge Academy. It's an amalgamation of all the best of both worlds. It's an oxymoron. Right, Selena? Ladies and gentlemen, Audrey Clark is with us. She's the founder of the it's Jackie Jocko Fan Club, 1953. And it's such an honor to have her with us as we play on Jackie Jocko's piano and playing his gig that he had the last 20 some years of his career. We, we couldn't be prouder. And Selena says a very special hello to all of those who are delinquent on taxes and fees. Well, thank you. I personally thank you for that one, Selena. Here's the eminent domain. Okay, let's see what she has in store for us next. Selena, let's see what. Uh... This one is a good one to keep in shape for the season when it rolls around. I don't think I ever did the uh, verse to this. Behold the way. Our fine feathered friend, his virtue doth parade. Thou knowest not my dim witted friend, the picture thou hast made. Thy vacant brow, thy tousled hair conceals thy good intent. Thou noble, upright, truthful, sincere and slightly dopey gent. What a verse. I feel like it was written for me. That's a, that's a sign of great art when you feel like they're talking to you. My funny valentine. Sweet comic valentine. Make me smile with your heart. Your looks are laughable, unphotographable. Yet you're my favorite work. Is your figure less than green? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak, are you smart? for me not if you care for me
it's all laughable. Ooh, unphotographable. Yet you're my favorite work of art. Is your figure less than green? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak, are you smart? Don't change your hair for me. Not if you care for me. Stay. Names and arms, Rogers and Hart. It's another song that everybody everybody remembers that song. That one stood the test of time. That one would that one would survive even without the help of song preservationists like us, because plenty of others are carrying the water for that song. Beautiful song. The champagne is on Charlie from Paris tonight. He's, just go up, go up to the barn, get your get your bottle. It's on Charlie. It'll be in a uh, thing of ice. Thank you, Charlie. brings us to a show called OK, O-H-K-A-Y, 1926. This is another song that's pretty much Selena, has, has survived the test of time. It's a Gershwin tune. Even a youngster like Selena's probably heard the song. But she's unusual. She knows a lot of things. That's Selena too. That's Buffalo's Selena. Not to be confused with the goddess of culture in Windsor. I can't believe I know two Selenas, and they're, they're both fabulous. What a great name. I, I, well, I don't know. I never. I didn't ask uh, Buffalo Selena how she spells her name. I, so I'm assuming, are there many ways to spell that name? Is it a confusing name to spell, would you say? Because there's more variations? Ryan never just says anything. Oh, I see. Trudy Salmon is with us, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yes, Trudy, thank you for thank you for noticing Mary's new hair. In fact, Pauline has even newer hair. Mary's hair is a couple weeks old. Mary's hair is done gestating. Pauline's is brand new. She got new eyes too. She got rid of her glasses. Benjamin Franklin will be proud. And the great Diane Waterman is with us. Well, you're you're really cool, Diane Waterman. 
Diane went to UB with, with the wife, with Mary. We've heard a lot about you, Diane. You could fill in some of the blanks for me about Mary's college experiences. There's a saying old says that love is blind. Still we're often told, seek and ye shall find. So I'm going to seek a certain lad I've had in mind. It's important to finish that thought, right? That certain lad I've had in mind. It's the importance of context. Now I need a swig of coffee after that joke. It's okay, it was rather sophomoric. It was we're too sophomoric to tell a concert violinist a joke like that. It wasn't quite bass, but... Cut the fat and get right to the meat of the song. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone who watch over me. Gershwin request. 
what great requests we're getting tonight. And that was that was a song requested by the Meyer sisters uh, several weeks ago. The cadets have Charlie's checking in from has some words of wisdom from directly from Paris, France. So it's all the best to Howard Mary and the cadets. Really a nice night, Cap. Got to get up early. Merci la bonne hair. Well, back at you, Charlie. Charlie's a big jazz guy, big important jazz guy in Paris, France. He's the ambassador of music in Paris. It's wonderful to be here with Robert tonight. We're in great hands. Robert's a real pro. He's a mixologist. But we won't get into politics here or religion. request. Suddenly I thought of coffee. Taught me how to do that, how to how to drink from a glass and play piano at the same time. It's a great great trick behind that. How little we know, how much to discover, what chemical forces flow from lover to lover. How little we understand. What touches off that tingle? That sudden explosion when two tingles intermingle. Who cares to define what chemistry this is? Who cares with your lips on mine what ignorant bliss is? So long you kiss me and the world around us shatters. How do we know? This is who cares with your whips on mine. What ignorant bliss is so long as you kiss me and the world around us shatters. How little it matters, Ooh, how little we know. called How Little We Know.
I will be back in 60 seconds time. What did I miss? Uh, Elton John was here. It's so peaceful when I'm not making all this yeah. noise, isn't it? Uh, Elton John was here for a minute, but uh, he... oh, Bert Bacharach was here with with Dusty Springfield. Yeah. Nothing much happened. Yeah. Richie English. Oh, Richie. What's that? Richie. I have not seen him. Well, he's a well, he's a he's a real artist. What a beautiful request this is. It's going to make me very emotional because the type is so small. I'm very sensitive. It's not the pale moon that excites me. That thrills and delights me. Oh no. It's just the near of you It isn't your sweet conversation that brings this sensation Oh no It's just the nearness of you If you only 
grant me the right to hold you ever so tight and to feel in the night the nearness of Beautiful song, Ned Washington and Hoagie Carmichael. What a great request by the Meyer sisters. Sandra in particular. It was Sandra's request. hardcore coffee now because it's time to party well thank you Sandra thanks for requesting it it was such a beautiful song I love your songs songs that people come up with here. The knowledge, the, the cadets, song geniuses. Okay, time to check the cameras because I forgot all about them. Okay, that one has been the problem one and it has not frozen. I'm moving so I can see if I'm moving, see? You got to do this kind of camera check sway, it's called. Oh, this is a fun song. He said optimistically. This is for Frederick Gazzoli. Wherever you are, we know where you are. Come along and listen to the woe by Broadway. This would have been a great song for last week with 500 dancers here, right? They, all, they were all the age of Ginger Rogers in, in Gold Diggers of 1933. Ryan likes this song too. Come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway, the hip hurrah, the ballyhoo, the lullaby of Broadway, the rumble of the subway train, the rattle of the taxis, the daffodils that entertain that Angelos and Maxis when Broadway baby says goodnight early in the morning. Manhattan babies don't sleep tight until the dawn. Good night, baby. Good night, milkman's on his way. Sleep tight, baby. Sleep tight, let's call it a day. Come on along, men, listen. 
listen to the lullaby of Broadway. The hip hurrah, the ballyhoo, the lullaby of Broadway. The rumble of the go to town and everyone goes crazy. You rock a bye or baby round until everything goes hazy. Hush a bye, I buy you this and that. You hear a daddy saying, and baby goes home to her flat to sleep all day. Good night, baby. Good night, milkman's on his way. Sleep tight, baby. Call it a day. Listen to the lullaby of old Broadway. What a request. Andrew is on fire tonight with these requests. Oh, I knew he likes this song. Good, good one, Ryan. Gold Diggers of 1935. I was only off by two years. They had several gold diggers in the 1930s. It is hard after, after all these years, 90 years for crying out loud. Rosemary, my singing partner, is here. It's wonderful to see you, Rose. Thanks for coming, popping out to say hi. Join us and let us be with you. Thank you, Susan. And Frederick piped in. He said that he and Cadillac are with us in Lucy, France, which is about an hour and a half outside Paris, I think. It's been a long time since World War II. I'm trying to remember when we, when we were on leave. Wonderful to have you, you guys with us. Cadillac, great to have you. David and Andrea said hi. Another big show business couple. What time is it over there? Must be about time for you guys to go out and hit the bars. This is from Damsel in Distress. Sounds like a battle of the bands here with the pianos. Geez, when's the last time we did this song? It's a great song, too. <laughs> Holding hands at midnight Neath the starry sky Nice work if you can get it And you can get it if you try Strolling with that one girl Sigh after sigh Nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Just imagine someone waiting at the cottage door. When two hearts become one, who could ask for anything more? 
who loves you and taking the vow. Nice work if you can get it, you can get it. Won't you tell me how? Beautiful Gershwin tone. Hey, Dave, you want to do me a favor and go upstairs and get that guy to stop playing the piano? Appreciate it. Don't throw him over the railing, though. Well, there's somebody playing the piano upstairs. It's a little distracting. Dave's going to take care of it. He, he likes he likes taking care of things. Nice. Night and day. You are the one Only you beneath the moon Under the sun Whether near to me or far No matter, darling, where you are I think of you Night and day Night and day Where is it so? That this yearning for you follows wherever I go. The trick morning boom, the silence of my lonely room. I think of you night and day, day and day. Under the height of me, there's an oh so hungry yearning, burning inside of me. But the torment won't be through Till you let me spend my life making love to you Day and night, night and day Frederick Cadillac. Hey, Don. There was a guy playing piano upstairs. I sent, I sent Killer up there to stop him. Yeah.
Oh, I can't believe you picked this song. Ah, Ryan, again. He knows. Of thee I sing. This is a great song for this presidential election year. Bill Jenkins is here, ladies and gentlemen. Now the party could really start in earnest. I'm checking the cameras, doing my due diligence. Thank you, David. I hope there was no blood involved in that. Oh, why'd you do that? Oh, really? Okay. Well, no. Well, that was that was a diplomatic thing to do. With their parent? Was their parent with them? And they were that stupid to be doing that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don's going to bring the Twilight Zone up on the TV set. Rod Serling. From the island of Manhattan to the coast of gold, from north to south, from east to west, you are the love I love the best. The dream girl of the sweetest story ever told. A dream I've sought both night and day for years through all the USA. The star I've hitched my wagon to is very obviously you. Everybody, oh, I sing, baby, summer, autumn, winter, spring, baby, you're my silver lining, you're my sky of blue, there's a love light shining. Just because of you, of thee I sing, baby. You have got that certain thing, baby. Shining star, inspiration, worthy of a mighty nation. Oh, we I see. Gershwin's greatest song. It is arguably, a lot of people feel that was Gershwin's, possibly their greatest song. Right, Bill Jenkins? Bill, I'm glad you're with us. It is beautifully written. You know, and they probably wrote it like, hey, we need a song for this scene, and could you, we're going to start in 10 minutes. Can you come up with something? It's funny how they and it just really inspired. I did a birthday card once for my brother George because he said Christmas is the greatest song, and I was birthday card, and I went, oh, No, that was from a uh, that was from a show of the same name of the I Sing. It was a spoof on uh, politics. It was about a presidential election a hundred years ago. Things haven't changed, right?
I got one I'd like to do. Jackie Jocko too. This one went over well with me, with the Meyer sisters, last time I tried it out. The sky was blue, high above, the moon was new, and so was love. This eager heart was singing. Come back to me You came at last Love had its day That day has passed Has gone away This aching heart of mine Is singing Well, come back to me I remember every little thing you used to do. I'm so lonely. Every road I walk along, I walked along with you. No wonder I am lonely. The day is blue, the night is cold. Singing, ooh, ever come back to me? Come back to me. Good night, Howard. Good night, Polly. Such a pleasure seeing you. Well, what a pleasure seeing you, and keep up the whatever you've been doing. Keep it up. Everyone's going wild out there. Happy Easter back. Thank you for everything, Polly. There she goes. Work in the room on the way out. So many great songs. There's another song off a of Jackie Jocko album. This is from this is from the Like Wow album, Ryan. I was a stranger in the city. I don't think he did the verse though. Out of town were the people I knew. I had the feeling of self-pity. What to do, what to do, what to do. The outlook was decidedly blue. But when I walked through the foggy streets alone, it turned out to be the luckiest day I've known. A foggy day. London town had me low, had me down. I viewed the morning with alarm. The British Museum had lost its charm. How long, I wondered, could this thing last? But the age of miracles had come and passed When suddenly 
I saw you there, a foggy one in town, the wrong roof shining. Ooh, everywhere. The sun was shining everywhere. In London town. weather going to be like, Dave, this weekend? Uh, we will have weather. Well, that's good. You shouldn't take anything for granted. Uh, all right. That's huge. Just ask Anderson Cooper. Yeah. I don't think uh, Dingus Day is going to be eclipsed by the eclipse. It will not lose its stature as the world's largest celebration of Dingus Day is right here in Buffalo. It can make Poland blush. Or an eclipse or not. Yeah, if you're drunk enough, it doesn't matter what the weather does. Joey's here. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's on her way to do a big show at the Shays with Higgins. Oh, yeah, that's Joey. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? I wanted to meet your mom. She didn't make it. Well, you, you come another night when you can spend the whole night with her. Look, it's Joey, everybody. She made it to Lounge Academy in person. What a person. This is so much fun. Joey's on her way to a gig at the at the Shays. You're going to be performing at Shays tonight. Well, you're performing in a role. She's being she's 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 photographing it. She's the photographer to the stars and videographer. I know you are. Well, it's a, well, it's a perfect outfit for Lounge Academy, too. Right? Yeah. We've been dying to have you here in person. It's always wonderful to to know you're with us and know we're with with you each week. She watches our show every Friday, and she contributes to it, of course. Thanks, Bill Jenkins. I've... Okay, I'm going to check the cameras again because I'm so shell shocked from not checking them last week. And... There we go. Back to the rotation. I'd like to do a Mac and Mabel song for you. In a really low key. What if I have this in different keys? I wonder if the Meyer sisters are familiar with Mac and Mabel. They're pretty hip. It's hard to get anything past them. Yeah. 
I won't send roses or hold the door. I won't remember which dress you wore. My heart is too much in control. The lack of romance in my soul will turn you gray, kid. So stay away, kid. Forget my shoulder when you're in need. Forgetting birthdays is guaranteed. Should I love you, you would be the last to know. I won't send roses in Andrea Rose's suit, suit you so. You ever hear the song? My pace is frantic. My tempers cross with words romantic. I'm at a loss. I'd be the first one to agree that I'm preoccupied with me, and it's inbred, kid. So keep your head. In me, you'll find things like guts and nerve, but not the fine things that you deserve. And so, while there's a fighting chance, just turn and go. I won't send flowers. Roses suit you so. That's from Mac and Mabel by Jerry Herman. Who else? Who else is doing that song tonight anywhere on on the planet Earth? Nobody. Thank you. Kids in the VIP seat. Appreciate it. That's from a show called Mac and Mabel. We have had a. So little time, so many songs. I'd like to do a Cy Coleman, one of my favorite Cy Coleman tunes. He wrote this for Frank Sinatra. I know, I know Joey likes this song. Because she's a nonconformist. That's how creative people are. Sentimental, so I walk in the rain. I've got some habits, even Joey can't explain. I'll start for the corner, turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? I'll sit and I'll daydream. I've got daydreams galore. 
cigarette ashes, there they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends, leave the keys in the door. So why try to change me now? Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. But that's not for me, cause I can't see my kind of crazy world go passing me by. So let people wonder, let them laugh, let them frown. You know I love you till the moon's upside down. Don't you remember I was always your clown? Why try to change me? Why try to change me? I try to change me now. Thank you, Cy Coleman. Thank you. I learned that by watching Playboy, Playboy's Penthouse, 1959 in black and white. Yeah, he did. He had Cy Coleman was his musical director. He wrote, he wrote the. Uh, the theme, the theme song for him too for his show. That was a great show. I'm not making it up. He introduced a lot of good songs on that show. Heff was into, into his music. He had Ella Fitzgerald on the show. He had everybody on the show. I didn't know that. Oh, it's, yeah, you gotta watch the black and white ones from 1959. There's, there's a bunch of episodes up on, uh, up on YouTube. They're not on DVD. The later shows are on DVD. Those are good too, but they didn't have the, the great jazz apps. He tried to follow the time and stay hip, you know? So he's, so he's got some great rock. He did, he did have Sammy Davis Jr. on the newer shows. And oh, actually, he had a lot of greats rates on the newer shows, but the Cy Coleman's were on the earlier ones. So many. Thank you, Trudy. Oh, see, we showed Sandra a song. That's unusual. That's what's great about Lounge Academy is we all learn about songs. Here's a uh, Sammy Khan song I like that I'd like to do for you that I hope you like. Hope it's in this key. I should go around weeping. I should care. I should go without sleeping. Strangely enough, I sleep well, except for a dream. Or two, but then I count my sheep well. Funny how sheep can lull you to sleep. So I should care. 
I should let it upset me I, I should care But it just doesn't get me Maybe I won't find someone As lovely as you But I, I should care And I do I should care, Sammy Khan. Isn't that a nice song? That's a generally obscure song, but the jazzers know the song. We'll do one that people know. Once in a while we throw in a song that people know. I want to be around To pick up all those pieces When somebody breaks your heart When somebody Twice as smart Ooh, as I When somebody who Swears to be true Like you used to do With me We'll leave you to learn That misery Love's company Don't you see I want to be around To see how he does it When he breaks your heart To bits Let's see if that puzzle fits Oh so fine When I discover that revenge is sweet I'll be sitting there apartin' from that front row seat When somebody breaks your heart Like you broke mine Like you broke mine Oh, you broke mine People seem to relate to that song very well. I think everybody I think everybody has a little revenge in their hearts. Not me. Cuz I've skated through life. That's what my friends tell me. a nice song. I'm going to request a song from Connecticut Yankee. Oops, where'd it go? Is this the one that fakes me out and doesn't have a part to? This is a song that's missing the second page and I always fall for it. I, I request it and then I fall for it. We'll do another Rogers and Hart tune. This is from a, a show called Jumbo that had some really great songs in it. And it's about a circus and a circus elephant. 
Actually, the, the other song is Little Girl Blue. I wonder if I have Little Girl Blue in my music here. It's really sad about an elephant, an over-the-hill elephant that's in the tent rehearsing, but its day is, her day, her day is past. Let's see if I have it. It's also from Jumbo. If you like elephants, it's... No, I don't. I, th I think it's in one of my books, though. Introduce yourself to Howard. I'm having a conversation with myself. Howard? Howard, how are you doing? Good. Thank you. you sound very lovely. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, Appreciate you that. You sound just like Frank Sinatra. Oh, well, no, nobody sounds like Frank Sinatra, but, I, but thank you. We're doing the songs that inspired Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah. These are the songs that uh, everyone wanted Frank to do these songs, and he did a lot of them. And when he did, it made a lot of money for the guys that wrote them. Yeah. Like that Cy Coleman tune. Yeah. Are you guys from Buffalo, or are you here visiting? Yeah, no. You just moved here. Oh, great. Welcome. Welcome. From Maryland. Well, well, they they got their they got their stories consistent. They both said Maryland. I think. It's your birthday. Well, happy birthday. You just moved here. It's your birthday. How long you been here? Six months. Nice. We just got married. It's, it's only been 20 years. <laughs> so you're the one that has a job in Buffalo. Where, where do you work? I used to work in the. T are you in the tower? Yeah. Oh, you're in Lafayette. You're in the tower with Joe Joe Cons. He's he's in charge of the building, or he was. And, and Sean. Yeah, they had me play piano over there when they were remodeling here for a summer. It was fun. Two summers ago. What a building. Yeah, but we're by the, the uh, bar, the lobby bar, by the windows. We're the, over there by the theater. Um, at, at the time, it was in tune. It was two years ago. Or oh, this one, you mean? Oh, this, this one's out of tune. Yeah. Oh, up there? Yeah, that one's out of tune. This one is, too, but... I tuned it just to keep it tuned, you know, because it's like easier than going through the whole, you know, corporation. And um, and then winter hit. Like I was keeping it, I was tweaking it each week before I'd start. It was it sounded so good. And then winter hit, and you know, the air conditioning turned into the heat. And what what it did was like everything but the bass section went went sharp which would have been fine okay everything goes up it's still in tune except the bass section didn't so you got two different tunings you know and it's like oh no so i've, I've been just kind of dealing with it it's still a nice sounding piano and and we're so yeah it's been improving now as the seasons my romance doesn't have to have a moon in the sky always milk the word moon doesn't need a blue lagoon standing by no month of may no twinkling star no hide away no soft guitars my romance doesn't need a castle rising in Spain, nor a 
dance to a constantly surprising refrain. Wide awake, I can make the most fantastic dreams come true. My romance doesn't need a thing but you. No, no. That was from Jumbo. There's another great song from the show Jumbo. What year was this from? And this goes, I don't have it here on there. There's a song about elephants. People don't know it's about an elephant. It just makes it even sadder when you know it's about it. It's about an over, over the hill. Jumbo, yeah, right. Yeah, it makes sense once you know. What's it called? Little Girl Blue? Or Girl Blue? Little Girl Blue? This is music to look up music by. I don't see it. I'll give it one more chance in this book. Um, oh, that would have been great, but I'm right here. I'll do it. You can find the next the next one. It always helps to have a flight engineer finding the songs. <laughs> Little Girl Blue. It is in here. You can tell I just got this book. It's like ancient scrolls. Actually, this this was to replace one just like it. That's really sad when you see. The reaction. You ever own something and then you you, you realize like it turns into an antique? Are you old enough to like have had things that really like you look at them and you go, that was new. It's like, am I that old? Age is relative. David, it's been wonderful. Wonderful. Good night, Andrea. Nice, nice songs. Hey, nice to see you. Ch Ch it's, it's Chuck. How are you, man? Did you bring your drone? You got the drone camera. You look great, you guys. Look at them. Joey and Charles, there they go, off to make a buck, looking good, off to Shays to do a job for Congressman Higgins. Okay, this is the one I'm talking about. Sit there, count your fingers. What can you do, old girl, you're through, sit there, count your little fingers, lucky little girl blue, unlucky little girl blue, sit there and count the raindrops falling on you. It's time you knew all you can count on is are the raindrops fall on little girl blue. No use, old girl, you may as well surrender. Your hope is getting slender. Why won't somebody send her? Tender 
blue boy to cheer up little girl blue what a song as well surrender your hopes are getting slender why won't somebody send a tender blue boy to cheer up little girl blue cheer up little girl blue nothing sadder than a washed up elephant at the circus man Imagine writing something like that. I got a question, Howard. Yes, that, sir. It shows you the right hand. Are you like improvising your left hand? It, only, it shows you the melody. It only shows you one note, the melody. This is like the bass part. No, that's the treble. Oh, Sorry, the treble? Oh, yeah. So it's the right hand. Yeah, it shows you. It gives you the basic um, structure of the song. So you, it gives you the, the chord. You don't have to stick to those chords, but it's a good framework. It's a foundation. And then it, it gives you the melody, the words, and the chords. Then you're on your own from there. But that's, that's all you need if you, you know. It's actually easier. It's, it's actually easier than actually reading a whole bunch of notes. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, you, and, and, the, and the words. It's more fun making up your own thing. Yeah, you gotta half know what you're doing and half not. You keep learning, you know. I usually stick to the keys they're in because transposing is work <laughs> but it's it's not hard to transpose um, when the, when it's like this because you learn like okay say say f was too low or something right or, or say it was too high and you wanted to bring it down to e flat so you know you know the relationships between them like that's the one chord that's the six chord that's the two chord that's the five chord and, and then you know in your mind, well, in the key of E flat, that would be, yeah. you know, you get used to that. But, yeah, but I, I, should, I should transpose more just to get that more solid in my head. But because I play solo, I don't have to. You know, I don't have to, like, accommodate a singer that goes, I want it down a whole step, or, you know? Yeah. But it's, you know, if you break it down numerically, that's something you could learn, you know? If you look into it, but you know, the, break it down to the one chord, the two chord, the, you know, and then, and then it it never changes. So once you learn it, and if you use it, then it just keeps getting better and better. Just don't do it like when they tell you learn a song and learn it in all twelve keys. That's that's just nuts. Nobody needs. You never you never get anywhere unless you're some kind of freak mind, and then you don't need the teacher anyway. There's only a few keys that people play in, you know, like these jazz songs. It's always like, yeah, it's, it goes from like as many as three flats, which would be A flat, and even that's rare, but it's it, it does come up. So a, three flats up to one sharp, everything in between. So that'd be like A flat, B flat, F, C, and then F. I mean, and then D, and then G. That's one sharp. Things are in G. Nothing's in D. None of these songs are written in those keys. So, the, you know, you like 12 keys. The best thing.
thing to do is just to play and not think of anything. And, uh, and to play out of a book that has big writing. See, this one has small writing. So that's, that's half the battle, too. See, this one has nice big writing. Look at that. Yeah, it's like a first grade. Oh, here's a nice song. Henry Mancini and Johnny Mercer, two huge. Selena, did we sing that song together? I'll have to get it. same name, like a child at play, through the meadowlands, toward a closing door, a dormouse nevermore, that wasn't there before, oh, only night discloses. Just a passing breeze filled with memories of a golden smile that introduced me to the days of wine and roses and you. That's one of my favorites too. That's from Days It's Days of Wine and Roses from Days of Wine and Roses. You can see a lot of these on YouTube. You know. You can see like somehow like an original performance from the old days shows up or and then everybody doing it since. It's really great having that as a resource, you know. You can see you can find a discover a song. You could see 10 greats do it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> That's how Janet does it. She's a famous concert violinist. Oh, well, you're too modest. She's with the Amherst Symphony. Denise, speaking of divas, Denise is with us. Hi, Denise. She's on a plane. Isn't that amazing? She's watching us from a plane. From Dallas to Buffalo. Oh, you're on the way back. Very good. She's on the tarmac. Don't let anybody step on you. Her 
Our kid just went into the military. He's amazing. He's going to be a military cop. He looks like one, too. He's going to be able to throw people around. I wouldn't mess with that guy. Right, Denise? How late do I play? I, I, I started when I was seven, but it didn't come together until like the last few years. Yeah. I'm a slow learner. But, but I'm, I'm nuts, so I stuck with it for no, like, you know, and it paid off. Eventually, you start getting more back than you put in. Or you get anything back is a big plus. And, you know, you get it. For a long time, there's just no return on the investment. Except anxiety. Whenever you see a piano and you go, man, if I play it, I, I gotta play it, but if I play it, you know, they're, they're gonna know I suck. <laughs> I went through that for like 50 years. But then after a while, you can start having fun with it. And it's wonderful because you get, you know, you see people having a good time and, and it's rewarding, you know, you're getting something back. Time goes by, you figure, oh crap, that's going to take me 10, 20 years to learn to do something, right? But um, the time goes by either way. You know, so the bus is going to take you there. You might as well, like, get off the bus when you get there and have something. Here's one for Dr. Fauci. Everyone has their song. The big shots, you gotta play them into a room. Or their egos get bruised. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. Deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I've tried so not to give in. I've said to myself, this affair never could go so well. Why should I try to resist when, darling, I know so well I've got you under my skin Sacrificed everything, come what might For the sake of having you near In spite of the warning voice Comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear Don't you know, little fool, you never could win your mentality, reality, but each time I do, just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin. I've got you, oh, I've got you, I've got you subcutaneously. I made up the ending. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That is under your skin, subcutaneous. I know that because my boots are made out of the subcutaneous tissue of a horse's rear end. Yeah, that's where they get this, this type of leather from. So if I didn't get these boots, I would have never learned that. Everything's related, isn't it? It's one big subject. Oh, Janet, 
after she goes, she's going to go practice the cello. Howard, oh, Howard, I got a new cello. I have to tell you all about it. You did? I did. Yeah, it's in her old Is it a new old one or is it a new? It's a new old one. Yep. Oh, those are, they're beautiful. Yeah, it's an old German one. Is it got like old? It's pretty beat up. Old shellac on it? It's got cracks that have been fixed. How cool. It's got I bet it sounds wonderful. It sounds better than my album. Sure. I love upgrade. old instruments. Yeah, it's an upgrade. So, I'm excited. That I'm is exciting. All day tomorrow. I just got oh. it this afternoon. Uh, that means I'm going to have to practice all day to keep up with you. <laughs> I got to fix, fix it in with the violin practice, you know. So my day's going to be very busy tomorrow. Yeah, well, now you're a multi linguist. All right, I'll see you next week. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, she goes. The woman who knows how to make an exit. It's like the Charlie commercial, Charlie perfume. Is she from Rochester? I'm going. I can't believe we're into overtime. I was having so much fun with, with, with our guests. Where are, where are you from originally? I'm going to play another one. Oh, okay. You were born in Where are you living in Buffalo now? I live up in Oh, okay. How are you? That's my ancestral homeland. Your ancestral Yeah. Near Ted's Hot Dogs and Anderson's Roast Beef in the town of Tonawanda. I, you you, you got to always specify if you're from Tonawanda. They, they, they get very touchy, people from town of Wanda. They, they, they always have to say the town of, like I did, say the town of town, or north town of Wanda, or the city of town of Wanda. They're, very, they're also territorial. It's funny how they are. I have no idea where you're from. Well, what, what's near you? What, what streets? There's like a park. I think it's Oh, okay. That sounds like the town of town of Wanda to me. Off by Niagara Falls Boulevard yes, and Ellicott yes. Creek Road. Yes, yes. Uh, that's a nice park. That's a nice area. And there's a golf course. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and, the, golf. and the big water tower. I live right by the golf course. Like, oh, how nice. I like that dome. That's a... Oh, the... Oh, oh yeah. The, the, golf the golf dome. Oh, you're in a nice area. That's... Yeah. yeah. That, that was in the uh, area of my high school, Kenmore East. Went there. I was on the other side of Brighton. I was uh, I was off Sheridan. Well, Tonawanda is wonderful. We like Tonawanda. Across the street from the zoo. Are you across the street from the, the golf course? Like, can you see the golf course out of your window? A block in. That's good. You won't get hit by any golf balls anyway. I was gonna. I was gonna worry about your picture window. Here's a final song, Nick. Yes, there is still a prime rib special. Denise is going to jet. She's literally going to jet. So happy that Denise stopped in. Wonderful night with you, Sandra, and company. We're going to do one more song because I'm having so much fun. This is for all the writers. Have you ever written a book? Yet? Yeah, you're going to, though. You're going to have to. After living in Buffalo, you're going to have a lot to talk about. Joey's back. Joey, what are you doing back? She's, she's supposed to be taking pictures for Higgins, and she's here. What's she doing? If they asked me, 
I could write a book about the way you walk, whisper and look. And we could write, write the preface on how we met that the world could never forget. And the simple secret of the plot Tell them that I love you a lot And the world discovers When my book ends How to make two Make two lovers of friends I'm going to have an epilogue in my book. Ray Emmer may not write a book. Right, Ray? Oh, yeah, yeah. Two lovers and friends. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Thank you, Joey. Are you, are you really done? Yeah, that I'm really done. Oh, okay. <laughs> we went we went a little over. Because you were here and our friends were here. Our newest friends. Well, what what are your names? Yadel. Yadel? That's my middle name. Really? <laughs> and this is Sangati. Sangati. Mary, write these down, will you? Yeah, How's that go again? Jackie Jocko used to do that one. Oh, thank you. Say your name again. I guess it's I'm going to have to look at it somewhere in time. Somewhere in time. Let me try to make a note of that. Somewhere in time. Nick. Nick, send me a write somewhere in time is in the in the message thing there, in the uh, comment. So I'll remember that Joey asked for not for somewhere in time. If you're there. No, that's the name of it. Yeah. Yeah. Jocko used to do it. It's 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 from something like what in the sixties or seventies? Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, I, d I did watch something. I did, I did look at some. Yeah, I did look it up once. At the Grand Hotel in Michigan. Nice. Wow. This is my home. Um, not not as long as I'm doing this. Yeah, this keeps me pretty occupied. Yeah, might might do some occasional, you know, one-offs sure. for them. You know, well, I mean, they ask me once in a while. Right? Yeah. Right, hey, great so meeting you. Yeah, I'll be Hope to back. see you again. Yeah, you guys are great. Thank you. Joey will be here. I, if you guys come, I'll make sure Joey's here. Okay. Yeah, we're already in our costumes. <laughs> Somewhere in time. Whoosh. 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 <laughs> Aren't they nice? Oh, they did write them down good because, like, I can't remember, like, Bob and Sue, let alone the exotics. Right, Nick? Okay, good night, everybody. It's been a great night. We met some nice people. 
We were spent the evening with some wonder, wonderful lounge cadets, as always. Nick Otto is going to be live on the show next week, if you can believe that. His triumphant return to Buffalo. Good night. Good night, the sisters. It's been fun. Were you guys all actually like physically together or just all like like kind of coordinated watching TV from different cities? I'd like to know that. You can answer that question later. Well, thank you all for making this possible and we'll have a great week. Have a fabulous week and we'll see you again.